Zach with Mean Green Mowers. And today I talk, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the operations, the battery capacity, and some of the components and just general operations of our CXR60 Zero Turn Mower. Our CXR60 Zero Turn Mower is an all electric mower. There's no belts, no pulleys, no oils, no hydraulics. So the maintenance and the operations of the mower is uh, very simple and, and uh, not as complex as just your typical gas mowers. Um, on this particular mower here, you'll see that we make everything out of seven gauge steel. We do a lot of bends instead of welds. So we bend everything and bolt everything together to make it structurally sound, a lot of box sections to make it as strong and as durable as possible, along with having a little flex and bend instead of your hard welds that break all the time. As you can see, we have a nice hard floating deck here with a seven gauge and a five eighths reinforcement around the side, caster wheels, and it's also a floating deck, so it'll float up and down as well as you're going across rough terrain. So here we have a 48 volt uh, blade motor. This blade motor is a whole spindle assembly connected straight to the blade. So each blade has its own electric motor. Um, the electric motor is controlled by a controller up here underneath the seat in the electrical compartment. So you have a controller that runs each blade motor so it controls the tip speed of the blades. These controllers, when they sense the tip speed of the blades slowing down in thicker grass, it will send more power to the blades to keep the blades running at the same tip speed. Uh, you got a couple contactors here, so when you pull the PTO switch on, the contactors turn the controllers on and then the controllers turn the motors on. So you got a four uh, component part system. Um, you see a cooling fan in here that pulls air up and across this compartment and blows air down to the rear drives. To keep this uh, compartment as clean as possible, just use compressed air. You can see this one's a little dirty, this is our demo unit. Uh, but use compressed air to clean this compartment out. When the seat's down, if you wash the motor off with, uh, with uh, water and stuff like that, you just have to have the seat down and keep the water out here as much as possible. Uh, but the rain on this machine, uh, the rain doesn't hurt the machine, so you don't have to worry about that. You can also see that your deck actuator moves up and down here. So by the push of a button over here on the right panel, you can move your deck up and down with the height indicator here on the side rail. So this actuator moves the deck up and down. You got your two drive controllers. So when you're moving your levers here, the wheels are operated by these controllers and they also have two electric motors, uh, one for each drive wheel. So if you've been to our website, you've noticed and gotten prices from us, you've noticed that there's three different package prices on this particular CXR60 mower. Um, those package prices have everything to do with battery capacity size. Uh, the mower, everything, the components, um, everything you see here is all the same except for your battery capacity. So as you can see back in this compartment here, we have three lithium modules. Um, this mower can run off of one, two, or three modules. So as you see in the package prices, um, the package price, the estate package is one battery. Um, that'll get you your two to two and a half hours. Uh, most residential customers are using one battery to get them through their one to two acre lawn. Um, that they're using. Um, you can upgrade to the two battery package, which is a contractor package. That'll get you your four and a half, five hour run time. So contractors going job to job throughout the day, um, you know, sometimes they're not only putting about four hours on their mower, so the two batteries get them through a day without any So problem. then you have your industrial package. All three batteries here is your industrial package. You can get the six and a half to seven hour run time out of these three batteries. Now to charge these batteries, it's real simple. You just got an outlet over here to the right that you plug your charger in and all three of these batteries charge up and discharge all at the same level. So they're all running in parallel. Um, these batteries are maintenance free. Um, these batteries are really nice because if something does happen to a battery, like a cell goes bad or a BMS goes bad that's in it, uh, we have a patent that we can fix these batteries instead of you having to replace these batteries. So for a couple hundred dollars, you can fix this battery and never have to worry about replacing it. The batteries have a 1500 charge cycle life. So that means you can get over 8,000 hours of use out of, these out of this battery pack before the batteries are at 90% capacity. So the batteries will outlast the life of the mower. You never have to worry about replacing your batteries. Okay, so now for the fun part. We have to go through the operations of the mower and show you how it works. Um, first of all, we have an on and off key. So when you turn the key on, you're gonna hear a fan turn on, which is that fan in the electrical compartment, pulling air up and across the electrical compartment and pushing air down to the rear drives. Um, you'll notice on the machine that there's no, uh, there's no uh, brake switch. The brakes are automatic, so when I go to move the levers forward when it's in operation, the brakes will automatically release. So when I turn this key on, you'll hear the fan. I got a display right here, and I know it's upside down to you, but you got your battery gauge, your hours on the mower, and then a system check that says OK. So with that saying OK, uh, we're pretty much ready to go. But if you want to pan around to the other side of the mower here, just show you a couple of the other operations here. 
we have the high low for the blade speeds so our controllers will control the tip speed high is great for a springtime cut when the grass is real thick and heavy low is great for like a day like today when we haven't had much rain in a while and we're not cutting much grass we can put the blades in low which i will let you hear the difference of the blades in high and low here in just a little bit um, the pto switch the pto switch will not work until i pull the handlebars in and engage the pto we got an up and down on the deck so i can adjust the deck just by the push of a button again the indicator is over here on the left rail so i can push it down you also see an overdrive temp so if the fan underneath the seat the, the fan underneath the seat quits uh, working the overdrive temp of the motors on the rear drives get hot this will sound off and let you know that it's getting hot uh, you see a light switch here we can put lights on the side of the mower so you can mow at night or early in the morning one of the biggest benefits of this mower is the low noise that you'll hear in a second from the blades uh, no one can hear you mowing um, and then the mower also pays for itself in fuel savings because I didn't have to put any gas in it today um, all right so I will put my seatbelt on Once I pull the handlebars in, I'm live. So I can pull the handlebars in and I can move the mower forward. You hear the clicks so of the brakes releasing. All right, so now we're ready to start the blades. I'm gonna start the blades in low and then bump it up to high before I take off. just like your typical gas mowers. Um, the nice part about this is the low maintenance. You got two, uh, you got a grease point in each front wheel. You keep your blades as sharp as possible. Clean your deck out every night for the efficiency of the airflow and the blades to work together. Um, charge your batteries every night. It doesn't matter whether you use them for five minutes or seven hours, go ahead and just charge them up every night. That way you're ready to go again the next day. No more stopping at the gas stations to fill up in the mornings. So right here we have our SAM option. Our SAM option is a solar assisted mower canopy. So this canopy will give you great shade throughout the day. Um, it'll also give you a 20 to 30 minute extended runtime because it charges the batteries throughout the day. Um, and then it also helps you qualify for a federal solar tax credit back off the mower. So you can not only get the sun off of your head, you can get money back in your pocket and also longer run times with this SAM option. Um, the SAM option is easily removed. If you need to remove it, you can take the clamps back here and loosen them up. We got four clamps. We also have a cable that we can disconnect. So it quits charging the mower. We got two safety clamps that you just push back, they're little latches. And then you, what you do is you just lift the mower up and roll it out and lift up to get the solar panel off. Now this is best done in the seat. If, uh, if you do it outside of the seat, it's very uh, hard to get it all lined back up. So you just make your latch sure to put it back on. You just make sure that your latch and that sun's bright. Just make sure that your latches are in the up position. You start with the front bolts, then you work your way to the back. Latch it down, tighten it up, and snap it back into place. So if you noticed earlier in the video, we have a bracket on the front of this mower here. This bracket is for a great option that we have here. It's our OVR Blast. Our OVR Blast is a great front end blower for this mower. Um, it can blow up all your roadways and sidewalks um, without ever having to get off the mower. Now it's real easy to attach. You just pick it up, line 
the holes up, set it down. You got two clamps that you can tighten down so it doesn't come popping back off. And then down in here, there's a there's a Anderson connector that you just plug into the battery compartment there. As you can see, there's a slide here to where we can put an individual battery on it to where if we want to put it on a golf cart or any other utility vehicle, we can put it on just about anything imaginable. So the operations of the blower here are all foot controlled. So I'll jump on the mower, kind of give you a, a go around of the operations. So when you're sitting in the mower, you can move the nozzle left to right, just depending on where you want to set the nozzle. You can push the on button to turn it on. Now it should go all the way into high. So now that it's in high, we can go to low. Low's great for if you're not blowing that much grass off. But you can also bump it right back into high by hitting that button again. Go right back to the high position. And you can keep moving it left to right as needed. Shut it off. Just hit that button right there, the on off button. And it shuts off and you can disconnect it the same, the opposite way I connected it. Um, if you want to take it off while you're mowing. That concludes our overview of the CXR60 with the optional OVR blast, the SAM option. Um, if you have any questions, please visit our website, meangreenproducts.com, and shoot us an email and uh, ask us any questions you like.